hello everybody it's hater and welcome back to another destiny 2 build video i can't believe i'm saying that it's been three weeks ladies and gentlemen but i am back i'm back making build videos and i'm back playing the brand new season season of the haunted which speaking of is what we're going to be talking about in today's video more importantly solar 3.0 solar 3.0 made its headway onto the new season and I was able to get my first hands-on impression of it on my stream, which by the way, I stream if you didn't know. You wanna show some support to that too while you're at it. But anyway, I got playing around with the brand new Solar Warlock and I've got a solar build you guys are gonna absolutely love because it not only creates a bunch of grenades with sun bracers, it allows you to have infinite heat rising, constant melee energy, and just a bunch of explosions everywhere. So as per usual, if you guys are into that kind of thing, showing some support to the channel by giving the video a like and subscribing is the best way to do so. Enough of me hyping it up, let's get into the build video. Starting things off guys, let's talk about how this build works. Which with the new Solar 3.0 Warlock, we have a brand new aspect which was reprised from the old subclass. On Top Tree Dawnblade, we gained the ability to use Heat Rises as a aspect. Using your grenade will consume it and allow you to have heat rises. You're able to fire your weapons, melee and throw grenades while gliding, also keeping yourself suspended in the air. But the kicker that they added to it is extra final blows while you're airborne are going to increase the duration of heat rises and grant melee energy. This effect is also applied when you don't have heat rises. But why is this important? Why is this important to the build? That's because we're pairing this with the exotic arm sun bracers. That's right, the bungee stars aligned and we're now finally able to use sun bracers to its fullest extent. Sun bracers exotic perk, helium spirals, is gonna increase the overall duration, basically the lifetime of your solar grenades, then solar melee kills are going to grant you unlimited solar grenade energy for a brief time. You're probably already catching on where I'm going with this. We consume our grenade with heat rises, we get kills while in heat rises, and we gain melee energy. We use our melee to then proc sun bracers and have unlimited grenade energy. We get kills with those grenades while airborne, and we repeat the cycle for infinite energy. This is going to be our foundation for the build. From this point on, we can just add on top of it to whatever we like in the build. And when it comes to mods, we can do some pretty nasty things. Before we get into that though, let's break down what we're using in the new reworked subclass. Starting things off over at the left with our super, we can pretty much use either of them interchangeably depending on the scenario. We use Well of Radiance if we want to heal our team, we use Dawnblade if we already have that kind of support established. For the class ability, this is pretty much preference, but what I like using is the new Phoenix Dive. They moved it from being an airborne ability that was applied to bottom Dawnblade to a brand new class ability that we're able to use instead of our Rift. Just like how it was before, you press the button and you dive down. But on top of that, it gains some new effects. It's able to heal people when you land and while Heat Rises is active, you gain the Restoration effect, which is Lingering Healing, and you also apply Scorch to everything around you. Moving to the Melee ability, this is where it gets really fun. You can use either the original Celestial Fire from Top Tree Dawnblade, or the brand new Incinerator Snap, which allows you to snap your fingers like Roy Mustang and send out fire in front of your enemies that also apply the Scorch effect. Trust me, if you're not an incinerator snap stand, then don't talk to me. Now moving on over to the big boys, the aspects and fragments. As we talked about earlier, we're going to be using heat rises. This lets you eat your grenade and then allow you to float above all of your enemies like a AC-130. Then when you get kills while you are gliding, you gain melee energy and extend the duration of heat rises. For the other aspect, we're going to be pairing this with touch of flame. This is going to empower all of our solar grenades as listed. Healing grenade, solar grenade, firebolt grenade, and fusion grenade. The one we're going to be using the most is the solar grenade because we're using sun bracers. 
This is going to increase the overall duration on our solar grenades and pair with sun bracers duration, but it also causes the solar grenade to spit out mini balls of fire that are around its perimeter. For the brand new fragments we're going to be pairing with this, we're going to start off with Ember of Torches. Powered melee attacks against combatants are going to make us and nearby allies radiant. Radiant is the damage buff that the Well of Radiance applies and is now universal amongst all three solar subclasses. What this does is give you 25% more damage for the entire duration of Radiant. Meaning every single time that we snap our fingers like Roy Mustang, we gain 25% more damage upwards to 15 seconds long. For the next fragment, we're going to be pairing Ember of Ashes with this build so that we apply more Scorch stacks as we damage enemies with Scorch. The way Scorch works is whenever we apply a burn from our grenade, our melee, pretty much anything that applies a burn in our subclass, it'll start stacking up on the enemy, and once they have enough stacks, they'll ignite and explode. This is just going to help accelerate the explosion while we have this active. For the next fragment, we're going to be using Ember of Singeing. This is going to pair really nicely with the build because now on top of us applying Scorch to everything, while enemies are Scorched, we're going to recharge our class ability even faster. Think of this like someone screaming Benevolent Dawn off in the distance while we're using the abilities. And finally, for the last fragment, we're going to use Ember of Solace. Radiant and Restoration effects applied to us have an increased duration. This is going to pair really nicely with Ember of Torches, so that we have an increased duration on our Radiant buff. And if we ever want to deviate this build into different kind of restoration effects, this will further amplify the build based on what you run in yours. Something that I do want to talk about which could be better in this build is when we're able to use the Fragment Ember of Searing. Once this comes out, defeating Scorched targets will grant us melee energy. This Fragment, in my opinion, is going to be the pinnacle of this build once we're able to use it. Later on down the road, once the dungeon is out and the fragments are released, I'll be trading out Ember of Singeing for this. Now that we're done talking about the subclass, let's move on over and talk about the mods that make the build. The very first thing that I want to talk about and make known is I don't have a bunch of the current artifact mods because the season just released. Some of them would even further enhance this build if I had them. Mods like Withering Heat will make enemies take more damage from our solar abilities. Radiant Orbs will give us Radiant much more consistently. Solar Fulmination will further enhance our ignitions and increase the radius of them. And Rays of Precision will cause enemies to explode from the Ignite effect whenever we get a Solar Precision kill while Radiant. All of these are very well worth mentioning, but I'm not able to use them in the current build. However, for our build that we're using right now, let's start off with the energy you're going to want your armor. And the only thing you're going to need is at least three armor pieces solar. Other than that, you can have two armor pieces with any element of your choosing. Starting off over at my helmet, I have it as one of my solar pieces, and I'm using the mod Wrath of Rasputin. As we talked earlier, you're able to create a lot of explosions, and Wrath of Rasputin is going to be able to help further enhance that. All of the kills that are solar splash damage oriented, our finger snap, our solar grenades, or even solar weapons that we can pair with this build, will create a war mine cell that we can destroy for even more damage. And because my helmet is solar, I'm pairing it with two ashes to assets so that while I'm throwing grenades willy nilly, I'm also gaining a bunch of super energy on top of it. Moving on down to the sun bracers, I have mine as arc, and because I'm using Warmind Cells, I'm pairing it with Global Reach. This is going to increase the distance that enemies will be affected by my Warmind Cells and effectively apply more AoE damage in the long run. Next to it though, at least for now, until I'm able to use Ember of Searing, I'm pairing this with two Momentum Transfers so I cut down on the overall time it takes to get my melee energy back. Later on, of course, I'll change these out for champion mods, and I'll just be using Ember of Searing. Moving now down over to the chest piece, this is also going to be one of my pieces of armor I have solar, and we're using Burning Cells. On top of our Warmind Cells exploding and dealing a bunch of AoE damage, this is going to apply a burn to them, 
so that whenever it explodes it applies a burn to enemies that then will make them proc wrath of rasputin again overall creating a perfect synergy with the entire build we throw a grenade we burn enemies it creates a war mine cell we blow it up it burns enemies we create another war mine cell next to it though however i'm using the brand new resistance mods armor of the dying star just like thermoshock plating from last season this is going to be a dual energy resistance mod in this case it's going to reduce incoming solar and void damage excluding arc i would have preferred that this chest piece be arc at least for now so i could cover all three elements but until i'm able to change it i'm just going to run two of them for now moving down over to the boots this is also one of my armor pieces i have solar and i'm using the mod explosive well maker so now on top of everything exploding we're going to capitalize on that even more by creating a solar elemental well whenever anything explodes this is going to act as an extra resource for the build but you could fill this out with anything that you like using also next up though i'm using an innervation so that whenever i pick up an orb of power it gives me grenade energy filling that niche scenario where i have no abilities and i need grenade energy then finally moving on down to the class item i have minus solar you don't really need it to be solar but i'm using the mod fonts of might so that whenever we pick up said solar elemental well from explosive well maker this will add an extra 25 percent damage to the solar weapons i'm using in my build this is also going to synergize with radiant and give me even more weapon damage than i already have and then finally i'm pairing it with two bombers so whenever i use my class ability it gives me a bunch of grenade energy just like how innervation is being used also feel free to get creative with any solar weapon that you guys use in your build anything's on the table i use sunshot you can even use skyburner's oath the explosive personality or anything with the new perk incandescent so it causes enemies to explode into scorch when you kill them in the end though guys that is the build for today's video it feels great to finally be back into the usual and expect me to keep putting out more build videos as the season progresses i'm also going to keep doing lost art content on the side since it's really fun but i'm thinking it's going to be much more of the fun focused kind of videos overall though i hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know down in the comments what you think about the build and have any build ideas you want to see me cover in the future i'm going to see you all in the next one bye bye